In a world where health challenges continue to escalate, one silent threat has been growing at an alarming rate. From 108 million in 1980 to a staggering 537 million adults in 2021, diabetes has surged globally. By 2045, an estimated 783 million people or 1 in 8 people in the world will be living with this condition. Diabetes isn't just about high blood sugar. It's a leading cause of blindness due to a condition known as diabetic retinopathy. Affecting one in four diabetics, it leads to devastating consequences, including 400,000 people losing their sight each year. In the United States alone, nearly 10 million people are struggling with diabetic retinopathy, with 1.8 million facing threats to their vision right now. This is more than a health statistic. It's a global crisis affecting millions of lives. Today, we uncover the hidden impact of diabetic retinopathy, explore its prevention, and reveal how every diabetic or at-risk individual can fight back against blindness. I hope those numbers scared you as they did me. Diabetes has been soaring thanks to our overconsumption of sugars, carbohydrates, and even food in general. Mix that with our overly sedentary lifestyles and we have a recipe for disaster. Welcome to the epidemic that is diabetes. So here, let's briefly touch on what exactly is diabetes. Let's imagine your body is like a car engine that needs fuel to run. Instead of gasoline, your body uses something sweet called glucose which comes from the food you eat. Now to make sure that this glucose can get into the parts of your body that need it, you need a special key called insulin. Insulin is made by a tiny organ in your body called the pancreas. It's like a little factory. But sometimes the factory doesn't make enough keys or the keys just don't work right. When that happens, the glucose can't get where it needs to go and it starts to build up in your blood. This is what happens in diabetes. Diabetes can wreak havoc in many parts of your body like your eye, kidney, and even your brain. This disorder has a tendency to destroy the blood vessels and the nerves throughout the body. Let's discuss how it affects the eye. To start off with, let's review some structures of the eye. First up, the cornea, the clear dome-shaped structure. Think of it as the eye's front window. It's clear and helps focus light as it enters the eye. Behind the cornea is the iris, that's the colored part of your eye. It works like the shutter of a camera controlling how much light gets into the eye by adjusting the pupil, the black dot in the center. Next is the lens, right behind the iris and the pupil. It works with the cornea to focus light on the back of the eye. To see things clear up close or far away, the lens changes its shape. Now, let's look at the retina. It's the inner lining at the back of your eye. The retina is super important because it converts the light signals that go into your brain and then letting you see the images. Now that we've covered the basic structure, let's discuss the most worrying complication related to the eye. Retinopathy, or how diabetes affects the back of the eye to cause irreversible blindness. Inside our eyes, there are tiny blood vessels that are super important. They're like little streams carrying clear water to keep the eye clean and healthy. But when someone has diabetes and there's too much glucose in the blood, these little streams can get sticky and clogged and tend to leak. This can cause a slow reduction in vision and eventually leads to vision loss. These vessels leak throughout the retina, but sometimes an acute leak in the center of the eye can cause sudden vision loss. This is known as diabetic macular edema. This combination of problems is called diabetic retinopathy. It can make it hard to see clearly, like trying to look through a foggy window. In the end, it can cause blindness. Now remember, diabetes affects almost all parts of the eye. Retinopathy is just the most severe. High blood glucose can invade the lens in your eye and take guard. This invasion causes swelling over your lens like a balloon and it can cause sudden changes in your eyeglass prescription and in the end, early cataracts that require surgery. It can also affect the front of your eye known as the cornea. Just like high sugar can destroy nerves throughout the body, it can do so in your cornea as well. This leads to intense dry eye with watering and a lack of pain if the cornea injures itself. This can lead to a clouding of the cornea over time. The lesson of the day here is, while diabetes will not cause many symptoms in the short term, it is devastating in the long term. 
many people fail to understand that just because the disease isn't causing a problem now, it does not mean it will not in the future. It is also a silent disease, often not alerting you to problems until it's very late. Please take care of yourself and your loved ones. Get screened for diabetes. Now that we have gone over what diabetes can do to your eyes, let's go over how we can prevent this huge problem. As you can imagine, the biggest problems will be your diet, blood sugar, and exercise. Your nutrition will be a huge, huge contributor to whether you can maintain or even reverse your diabetes and there is no escaping this fact. Next time you visit the grocery store, think about what you're purchasing. Take a look at those nutrition labels that are at the back. Specifically, I want you to concentrate on the sugar and carbohydrates and how they relate to your daily intake. You will be surprised at how sugar or carbohydrate dense most foods in the modern world are. Many disorders which we believe are due to high cholesterol were actually due to excessive intake of sugar. Nutrition in the modern world requires a rethink. Now, in a bit, we'll look at the nutrition for some of the common foods that we consume to let you have a better idea. But before that, let's see how much sugar you should be consuming in accordance to the American Heart Association. For males, it is 36 grams of sugar or 9 teaspoons. It's slightly lower for females at 25 grams or 6 teaspoons. For children, it's 19 grams or 4 teaspoons. Now let's see some of the yummy foods that we love to have. Having cereal in the morning is incredibly popular. Here is the nutrition label of a popular cereal. We will not show any brand labels for obvious reasons. So the serving size here is 1 cup or 40 grams and the sugar content is a whopping 17 gram. So almost half of that cereal is sugar. Many of you have those lovely soft drinks. Have you ever wondered how much sugar is in each can? One 355 milliliter can of any soft drink has about 39 grams of sugar. That is more than your daily limit. The whole point of this section was to highlight that we need to be far more mindful of what we put in our bodies. Prevention of diabetes will come from correction of nutrition. You can exercise as well, but remember, you will never outrun a bad diet. And there you have it folks. We covered what diabetes was and how we can prevent it. We will discuss diabetic retinopathy treatment options in the next video. So if you want to catch that video or any of our other health related videos, please like, subscribe, and share.